They won three games in conference a year ago, looking to improve on that this season. And King Rice, the head coach for Monmouth, it gives us a tobacco road feel here in the Steel City. That clock resets to 20 on a missed shot this year in the front court. Salne down the lane, the up and under. And it's tapped home. Now to Pitt here on Monday. They don't get back home till tomorrow. As Treor knocks it in. This is a, a chance for his guys to get on the road, test them early, and get them some road experience. McGowan's the first bucket for Pittsburgh. A rough start for the home team. Down 4-2, Trey McGowan's. Hammond to the second leading score. Chapu thought about it. He'll drive the lane. Great feed. Abizabe blocked at the rim. Second effort is there. That's the shot, though, for Pitt. Uh, that they want right there. Not much ball movement and another contested jumper. Here comes Gob Gabriel, whose brother Wenyon started Kentucky. The corner hits the side of the backboard. And now the boos rain a little heavier. McClary the other way lays it in. And Monmouth doubling up Pitt with 8.25 to go in this opening half. Offensive effort. Yes, they're struggling offensively, uh, but Monmouth right now is getting layups. Murphy from the wing. That doesn't go. The tip is there by Terrell Brown. McGowan's at the other end. Knocks it in and Pitt within one. Salnave. Chapu. Salne from the outside knocks it home and Monmouth leads by three. Comes Johnson working on Vaughn. Nice drop off. Champagne blocked on the follow. Tony is there and that's what he gives Pitt those hustle points. Chapu pull up three. We're tied at 19. Example of that right there. Just an ISO play at the top. Line my guy up and see if he can make a play. Champagne. Tony. Back to Champagne. And finally, some crisp ball movement offensively by Pitt. To an ACC team. Pitt in the Big East was rugged. They were physical. They beat you up. And listen, the way it was called in the Big East, you got away with a lot of that. You have to upgrade the baseline athleticism. Brown to work in the low post. If they can get offense from him this season. Comes Salne. Chapu misses at the 10. Offensive rebound. Salne it rattles in. Johnson against the bigger Treor. Nice move inside by Xavier Johnson. Salne tracks down the rebound. Shot clock resets to 20. Nice feed down low, but Hammond blocked by Terrell Brown, who averages three a game. Johnson pulls up. And knocks it down. Chapu. Good defense by Tony. Salnave launches and hits from the outside. Johnson has the mismatch. Nearly traveled. Champagne, three to shoot. Back to Johnson from the outside. Xavier Johnson might have found his mojo in the second half. Of the 15 all ACC players from the season ago, only two are back. That's Jordan Wara for Louisville and John Mooney for Notre Dame. You could just read the body language. He just looks more confident. Little hop in his step. Down the lane, nearly traveled. Finds Champagne for the assist. Largest lead of the game for the Panthers. Nice move down low for Treor. Nice speed up top by McClary. Really a ton of post presence on this Monmouth team. Here comes Johnson again. Inside. And the basket good. Koulibaly, the lefty. So the games that you're able to play over there against some pretty good competition. They hit some highlights too. Venezia, Venice, Pisa, Rome, Bologna, Florence. A city called Emola. I loved it. I was over there uh, for two years and uh, really just unbelievable experience as we take a look at some more. Good ball movement by Pitt. Zemela, should I go there? Uh, absolutely. Right outside of Bologna. A beautiful place. Nothing but great things to say about it.
Pappas hits the three. Monmouth not going away. Thought Venice was overrated. Oh, wow. I'm leaving that one alone. I got some teammates from Venice. Felt like an amusement park more than it did a city. One man's opinion. Right now, both teams have changed up their defense. Pitt in a 3-2 matchup zone. Their largest lead tonight, seven. Monmouth has been hanging around all night. McGowan's. And the spacing has been just so much better for Pitt offensively in the second half. Batted back. Here comes Johnson. He's lethal in transition. Johnson all the way lays it in. 13 for Xavier Johnson, a game high, and 11 here in the second half. Shot clock at 10. Chapu. Adam McClary, an undersized four, finds Treor down low. Nice look by McClary, a very good passer in that high post. Kicks to Murphy. Entry pass. Hamilton, the grad transfer, lays it in for two, no foul. Amazed, J.R. Reed still has the same haircut after all these years. <laughs> oh, what a career he has had. You know, one of the all-time greats in North Carolina history. As we talked about earlier, it's going to be a one-bid league for them, and uh, they want them ready uh, when it comes to Mac conference tournament. Play. 15 for Johnson. Hammond had 17 against Kansas. He's their best shooter. And now Johnson. 15 points, 8 assists, most of it in the second half. Assist number 9. Shot clock at 5. McGowan's against the bigger Treor. The lob to Champagne. He's a guy that was starting to show up on draft boards. Uh, they need that guy. They need that guy to be the leader of this team in order for them to have a chance. Johnson's eyes are up. And Pitt will dribble out the clock with no drama here at the Peterson Event Center.